You must be Miss Zebra Apples. Nice to meet you. So, you've got a very interesting resume going on. So tell me, what are your interests like outside of school? Because I want to know more about you as a person. So during my free time, I love watching football. I love when those sweaty boys, big boys, like tackle each other on the floor. Like, and it's such a beautiful sport. I still don't understand it, but I still love it. Did I say I didn't understand it? I, I, I mean, I understood it. Like, I understand, you know. In the country I come from, we say understand. We don't say understand, we say understand. So, yeah, and I speak this language, you know, my mother tongue, which is nonsense language, which is like, beep, blue, beep, blue, beep, blue. See, I'm just insulting you right now. Oops. I was not supposed to say that. I should really filter myself. I, 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 what I meant to say was that you are looking really nice today, Miss Interviewer. And, you know, I'm just excited to be here and get my hands dirty, you know. Learn more about this organization. But yeah, I love football, by the way. Touchdown! You know, I, I'm i a big Tom Brady fan, so I'm like a Tampa Bay Buccaneers kind of gal. You know, I used to be a big uh, Baker Mayfield fan, but then like I realized that he looks just like my friend's brother. So I don't even like May Baker Mayfield. He just gives me weird vibes you know he's gonna work on his spiral throws you know like catch and shoot wait catch and shoot catch and shoot oh that's basketball terms i think but anyways i love football so i'm excited to be here um okay i was just asking you what your interests were like you apply for a finance internship how does that language your nonsense language and you liking football have to do with this internship I meant like interests relating to this internship like what are your hobbies like what what made you want to do finance what made you want to do this internship I don't want you pulling up random facts about yourself up your sleeves i'm talking about like how it relates to this internship the thing is uh, football relates to finance because finance has to do with numbers the players wear jerseys on their back like not jerseys on the back i mean numbers on the back of their jerseys so like number 15 number 12 number 47 you know i like to keep track of people's numbers only if I could get their digits in my phone. But anyways, you know, I like to keep track of the numbers and the language. Well, because finance is, does not make any sense, just like my language. So that is why I chose finance, baby. Okay, then. That's not the answer I was looking for. But, okay, we're... <sighs> it's hard to be an interviewer. But anyways, last question. How do you face adversity? OMG, that wasn't that is an easy question. I was waiting for you to ask me that. So first of all, I sit in my bedroom. I scream for all of eternity because I don't I don't talk about my problems to anybody because like <laughs> Who does that? Um, two, I play with my cat. He's like the most adorable thing ever. He's super hyper. Oh my gosh, he's like the best cat ever. And then I scream some more. Then that scares away the cat even more. Then I do some jumping jacks. You know, one, two, one, two, one, two. Until I count to three. Because I can't pa I count past three. Even though I'm like a finance major, I still can't pa count past three. I don't know what went, went wrong there. Wait, I can count past seven, actually. 
and then I scream again. Wait, did I already say scream? I don't know. I'm messing up all the orders. Then I played music full blast. I think that's why my ears are always ringing. Because, you know, I always play like the soft, heavy metal. Heavy metal can't be soft, but in my head, oh, this is soft as, soft as heavy metal. It's softer than soft drink. Softer than a pillow. And then I do some push ups, which I really. I do one push up and I call it a day. I eat seven brownies and then I just unwind and just let life take its course. Okay, then that was the most interesting response I've ever gotten during an interview. So, I guess our time is up and I will call you in about two to four weeks. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I make videos on Wednesdays because that is the time to partay. You know, job interviews are like the weirdest thing ever. Not the weirdest thing ever, most stressful thing ever. Not one of the most, like one of the most stressful things ever. And then they ask all these questions and then you're just like, shoot, I prepared for all of this. And all of this gibberish comes out. You know what? I think like in my mind, something intellectual comes up, but I think that's what they hear. Like what I just demonstrated for you guys. I think that's what they hear coming out of our mouths. But it's okay. This is just a parody, guys. So it was just all for fun. And I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends because... That would be the best thing for you to do. I'm serious though. Bye.